Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Welcome back to the green room. Today, we delve into the intriguing journey of iconic actor Pierce Brosnan and his remarkable thoughts on stepping into the legendary shoes of James Bond. Interestingly, Brosnan has expressed that he felt too handsome to take on the role of Seven when he was initially considered in the mid-1980s. Though he ultimately became the face of Bond in the 90s, Brosnan believes his beauty at that time might have overshadowed his acting ability. Initially, Brosnan was screen-tested by Bond producer Albert Broccoli in 1986, where his impressive audition had everyone buzzing about casting him for The Living Daylights. However, due to his commitments to the TV show Remington Steel, he was forced to let the role slip away, a decision that haunted him for months. In a candid interview, Brosnan shared, The only thing I could think was that it was just business, and it wasn't until six months later that I began to think, I could have been there. I could have done that. But it also gave me a hunger and a desire to get there. I just thought, fing you. I'm going to get there. Fast forward to 1995, the Bond producers deemed the time right for a new direction after Timothy Dalton's run, and Brosnan finally snagged the role he had long coveted. Reflecting on this, he admitted, again I have been very fortunate that I did not get Bond when I was supposed to get it. I was too young. My features were too handsome, too good-looking, call it what you will. Some guy will read this and say, I'll give you a broken nose if you want. It seems he was relieved. He didn't end up portraying Bond during his earlier years and felt more ready when the opportunity finally arrived. Dalton's departure opened the door for Brosnan, although there was a moment when Dalton considered returning. He revealed, Broccoli asked, if I would come back, and I said, well, I've actually changed my mind a little bit. I think that I'd love to do one. Yet, he ultimately decided against the role due to the long-term commitment it required. Brosnan, however, believes that a collaboration between Dalton and director Martin Campbell could have changed the course of Bond history. In the end, Brosnan's Bond journey was shaped not just by luck, but by timing and self-reflection on his own capabilities as an actor. Join us as we uncover more fascinating tales like this in the green room. Don't forget to like and subscribe for the latest updates on your favorite stars.